Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Spencer. I'm the vocalist from A War Within, and you are listening to the audio commentary for our song Pariah off of Panic Euphoria. Pariah was recorded September 20th through 22nd in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It was the second time we were recording with producer Lee Albrecht. It was released May 15th, 2020. Now, the fucked up part about this situation is we meant to release this song in April, but since COVID really kicked off and quarantine really happened, it like half released in April. It released on Spotify, and I think it might have released on Apple Music, but I don't remember, but it, it like half released and didn't release anywhere else. So we were like kind of stuck. So we took it down and we like, fuck, dude. COVID pretty much killed the success and our flow of that. That's why this one came out in May. It's definitely been the worst received single on the album, which is funny because it's one of my favorite songs, which I think is mainly due to just the situation at the time. Everybody was so concerned with the media and the news and this new outbreak of this pandemic that we were experiencing. Although we had shot and had the music video prepared for April Fools because we kind of built the concept to be around April Fools, the whole lockdown situation just killed it. The song actually came out well before its release date, April 1st. And as I was scrolling through Spotify, I just discovered it in our in our discography. So something to do with how it was set up. I don't know if it was my fault or whatever, but there were definitely troubles and I know we weren't the only band having troubles uploading music at that time. So it just happened to fuck us right at the perfect moment for what I thought was our funniest music video as well as one of our best songs. So before I get into the music video, I want to talk about the lyrics because the lyrics and the music video don't really coincide with each other 100%, but they still kind of do. But we wanted to kind of aim for a little bit funnier of a concept because we're kind of funny people and uh, at least we think so. And uh, the song is definitely way more on the serious side. So it's, it's we kind of like wanted to do a little bit of a Foo Fighters, a day to remember, you know, here's our serious song with our funny video. The song itself, the lyrics and title, like the whole vibe is very chill and still kind of bopping. Like it, the song moves, the pace moves. When we wrote it with Lee, we wanted to make sure that we had a actual solo in it. We were tr trying to get a little bit more guitar heavy since Lee is such a great guitarist and he helped us put together the Pretty much this entire album minus the first two songs. We wanted this song to kind of really push us into the chill, bouncy, somewhat new area that we were kind of going to. Still on the angstier side, but we wanted it to be more chill and, and a little bit more sad because it's a sadder song. The song itself is about how the world wants to shape you in its image when you just want to shape yourself. And the hard part is deciding exactly how you want to shape yourself. You'll wake up one day and a lot of people will tell you, hey, you should do this, hey, you should do that. You should be this person, you should go to college, you should get this job, you should date this person, you should be this person. That is literally everyone around you all the time. I mean, and there are some exceptions, but that seems to be the concept. Everybody wants you to be this perfect part of society. And I feel like I don't completely fit into that. I feel like I'm doing this thing that's completely isolated and completely against the grain. It's against the current. It's nothing that anyone else I really know is really doing. And the odds are not ever in your favor doing something like this. So you're the salmon swimming upstream. And at the same time, you're still learning to be yourself while doing it. And that's probably the most difficult part, is that you're learning to be something that you maybe you might still be the, this person that they're, that they're telling you to be, but at the same time, you're not sure. You're just in this state of confusion where you're like, I want to try these things, but let me try them. Let me have my own successes and my own failures and my own mistakes and my own regrets and live life to its fullest. And hopefully, if I do something that's a mistake, that people will forgive me or I'll forgive myself, which is probably more importantly, that I will get over these fears of disappointing myself for not being who I want to be. I feel like growing up, I was told to be a lot of these things. My mom definitely wanted me to go to college, which I did. But at the same time, it just wasn't the path I wanted to be. I wanted to do music. I want to make music. I want to do anything music related. I'm an audio engineer. That's my actual career. I do this band not just for fun, but because I love to do it. So it's interesting to have people around me who are growing up, getting married, and uh, they have kids. I know I'm married now, but there are people who are going to their jobs and they fucking hate it. There are people who are living their lives and they hate this life that they've built because they've been lied to their entire life that they have to be this person that everyone else wants them to be. And this song is basically the term pariah, it means outcast. 
is that you are being the person that's not the norm. You're being the outcasted person. You are the pariah. So that's what this song is really about. Now the music video, on the other hand, is kind of still fitting this concept, but at the same time, we wanted to have something fun uh, with it. It was shot in Toledo, Ohio, in Roy's basement at the same time we were shooting Undefeated, but I remember just talking to talking to the boys and be like, what if we did something like this? What if we what if we dressed up as women? Because that, that would be funny. That would be kind of provocative. And I'm, I feel like the first time I said those words, it wasn't really received pretty well. And then after a while, I think Roy called me up on the phone and be like, hey man, so this whole dressing up as women thing, I think I have an idea. And so we came up with this concept of during the song, we would try on a whole bunch of different outfits till we finally became in what we usually wear on stage. Like almost like having a record, record executive kind of like put us into this position. Like the world is putting us into this position. And we wanted it to be more mysterious and kind of fit in the whole vein where it's like you're discovering things as you're trying to do them. And you can't be afraid to do that. I gotta definitely talk about how awkward it was walking into, was it Cirilla's? I don't even remember the lingerie store. Shout out to the lady who helped us and thank thank my wife for being there to help me put on help me put it on women's clothes. I'm sure it's it's something embarrassing to her, but you know what? I looked pretty sexy, didn't I? I thought I did. It was definitely very awkward buying these things because it's like this is a world where I had no idea what the hell I was doing and I just knew that we needed to get something that looked somewhat provocative and sexy. I gotta say, I'm not a cross-dresser at heart, and I'm not shaming you for being so. I definitely really want to applaud you because I have no idea how the hell you get those clothes on. Uh, it, it felt very freeing being in, like, a skirt, but at the same time, I don't know. It just wasn't as comfortable for me as I tried to make it look. So, uh, it was a new experience for me, and that's probably the last time I'll do it, unless you guys, like, dare me to do something else. Why not, right? Peer pressure. But then we came up with a few other uh, ideas that we would do like a beach wear, we would be in like a business suit, which would be more like a traditional career. Uh, and then we would switch at the end and finally be in our show clothes. This is the first music video where we were like, we're gonna flex our editing skills. And Roy really took this one the most serious I think that he's ever done and didn't wanna just simply rely on the location. The whole second verse is built around these transitions and the slow-mo take that I did putting on the clothes kind of symbolizing that, you know, like I'm not actually dressing, this is somebody else dressing me that fit the concept of the song. I thought that was really cool. Those are the definitely highlights of the video. Uh, and there's definitely one moment in it where Roy was, I think we did the take about 10 times. Roy really wanted me to do this kick. I don't remember where it is in the video. If you, if you find it, please uh, leave a comment below on the video. If you're listening to this on Spotify, you can't do that, but j check out the video and leave a comment on the YouTube video where it is exactly the time. I literally couldn't get it to save my life. So you have a, I, I'm sorry, you have a mediocre, uh, like dancey kick. So definitely the biggest takeaway that I felt like writing this song and finally seeing it come to fruition is just how chill and vibey it was and still got my message across along with the goofy video that we felt like this was us in a video. Like this is how weird and awkward this band can be and we thought it was funny so if you thought it was offensive we're sorry but at the same time that's life right it's like people are going to judge you and people are going to make up their own minds about you and not necessarily oppress you but that's kind of what it feels like it feels like you're not allowed to be your own skin so at the end of the day just take that message away and always take it with a grain of salt this is our art and enjoy it to its entirety tell me how sexy i am because it, it makes me feel good thank you Thank you so much. Thank you guys. This has been the audio commentary for Pariah. Follow us on Spotify or YouTube. Make sure you go do that and check out all the videos. And we'll see you for the next one. Thank you guys. Bye.